Hi guys, so today I would like to discuss with you uh, what are for me the best books uh, if you want to learn more about browser internal and browser security. So um, I'm going to start with the first one, that is uh, the uh, Tangle Web. Uh, it's a book created by uh, Michael uh, Zaluski, that is uh, the uh, creator of uh, I AFL, American Fuzzy Loop. So um, this book is actually really nice if you want to learn more about um, the web security model in general and all the different websites and um, I mean web application um, should work and the security me uh, measure uh, around them. So uh, I actually listed uh, a bunch of chapters that is for me really interesting. Uh, I don't know if we can see that right now. Yeah. So uh, basically, um, you have, uh, so my favorite one, I like uh, browser, all, everything regarding, um, it starts with a URL. So it will basically tell you um, when you have a URL, all the process and uh, what uh, you will uh, expect. Then um, the part regarding a, um, HTML uh, markup is really nice. Uh, browser side script as well. Then you have all the stuff regarding like the browser security features. So all this part is really interesting, especially uh, the stuff regarding content isolation logic. So uh, it will be all the stuff regarding like same origin policy and how it works, why you need that and so on. And after that, of course, uh, a bunch of other stuff. And then uh, you um, you have, um, I think the last chapter, yeah, 13. Um, so the content recognition mechanism are also really nice. It's basically all your browser is capable of detecting, okay, that's a PDF, that's something else and so on. And what can you do uh, with that in terms of like security um, and attacking the browser uh, using this vector basically. So that's for the, the Tangle web. Um, then we have the high performance browser networking. So that's this book. Um, the good part with this book is it's also available fully um, online for free right there. So you have all the books um, available. This book is really one of the best and I would say maybe the best you can find in browser uh, in general. Sadly, it's only focused on networking, but it's doing the job uh, really nicely. Um, so there is really a bunch of chapters I really like, but especially the, the, the end of the book. So let me show you quickly. Um, chapter four regarding TLS is really uh, interesting. I think it's really important um, if you are dealing with browser and even for your um, knowledge. Um, general knowledge to, to understand how it works exa exactly. Then you have a huge part regarding like uh, wireless network. Really interesting if you are in, in, the, in the mobile game, uh, definitely. Um, and then you have um, the stuff regarding web performance and HTTP that are really nice. And finally, the, the best part of the, of the book for me is everything re regarding browser APIs and protocols. Um, so you have uh, all the primer regarding browser networking, um, XML, HTTP request, uh, some really good example uh, and stuff. And uh, finally, WebSocket and WebRTC that are really, really interesting, uh, really uh, in deep um, and bring a lot of uh, knowledge uh, regarding those subjects. Uh, also, those stuff are some what we can say some new attack vector um, and uh, we have seen uh, a lot of recent vulnerability regarding web rtc so that's also why it makes sense um, to for you to take a look at that uh, more in deep then we have the uh, browser hacker uh, handbook so this one is actually a bit old um, but it's uh, still a really interesting uh, book um, especially because it's one of the only one you will, I mean, I think it's even the only one you will find regarding attacking the browser directly. So in terms of uh, chapters that are really interesting, the first one will be like uh, web uh, security in general, so a, a good overview. And then uh, you have a bunch of, um, of chapters regarding some uh, specific subject. You can think of... Um, how to bypass the same origin policy, or to um, what can you do if you want to attack the user. So you will get uh, a bunch of uh, information regarding the attack surface of the browser. Uh, and then you have the chapter six regarding like attacking browser, chapter seven, attacking extension, 
eight attacking plugins and nine attacking web application in general. Uh, and finally, chapter 10, that will also, uh, in that case, um, link to the previous book we discussed, it's attacking networks. So um, that's really nice. Uh, actually, the author of this book are also the uh, creator of uh, the, the Beef framework, if you are familiar with this one. Um, as I mentioned, a bit old, but still really interesting, uh, even right now, to basically take a look at those books and uh, try to kind of extract the um, the the techniques, the um, the way to think of the of the author. Um, also, uh, just keep in mind that, of course, the all the browser evolved uh, back then. I, I think this book is from. Um, 2014, maybe something like that. Uh, let me check. I will maybe find the information right there. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, 2014. Um, so a bit old, but um, in general, the the main idea and the main concept still remain, and especially the um, kind of attacks you want to apply um, are still there. Finally, I want to discuss about one final book that is um, not just a book, but a comic, uh, so, uh, a comic book. So it's the Google Chrome comic book. Um, so this one is uh, actually really interesting. It's a comic book regarding the um, decision that have been made uh, by the um, development team of Chrome um, regarding um, which architecture, uh, which um, choice in terms of design have been made and why. So uh, it's a really interesting uh, and really well-designed uh, comic book. And you will basically uh, get um, a bunch of, um, you will get a lot of idea about how a browser work, basically. Uh, for example, part one regarding like stability testing and multi-process uh, architecture, really, really interesting. And then as you can see, you really have a lot of stuff, um, really well designed. And the funny part is that the, the, the people that are represented right there are actually uh, some real uh, developer and uh, real uh, guy from the core team. So really interesting. So as you can see, we have some stuff regarding V8, that is the JavaScript engine of uh, Chrome, um, and so on. They will also discuss regarding WebKit, why they choose to basically fork it, uh, and so on. So really, um, really nice, uh, really easy to read, uh, a lot of content that uh, makes sense. Um, and uh, that's definitely my go-to for uh, everyone that want to uh, start with browser uh, internals that want to learn more about browser internals uh, because you will get directly um, a good overview of how it works and why uh, it works like that. So uh, that's all for the for the books. Um, as usual, uh, you can find all uh, all my video, uh, my uh, introduction to browser fuzzing, uh, my free courses with a bunch of video I've already made regarding like browser fuzzing and browser security. Uh, also, uh, some of you might know that uh, my uh, training regarding web browser fuzzing uh, will be released uh, in um, around June, April, May, June uh, 2022. Um, so uh, don't hesitate to contact me if you want to learn more. Also, you have the course outline, so maybe it will also give you some insight uh, regarding the different uh, parts of the browsers that are really interesting to, to fuzz and take a look at. And uh, also, um, the my next session for this training will be at uh, Recon Montreal uh, 222. Um, so um, there is still some uh, some seats uh, available. So if you want to learn more regarding like practical web browser fuzzing, don't hesitate to 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 come, and I will be really happy to to teach you uh, in uh, Montreal uh, in June. So let me know uh, what you would like to see in the next video and uh, see you uh, next time.